Hey guys, I'm back with this week's video, which is with me talking about a random fandom that I have no idea what it is yet, but you do. And so if you want to hear me talk to you about the fandom that you know and I don't, then just keep watching. It's gonna be awesome. Also, grab some tea if you feel like it. Mine's mint. Okay, first ever tea time talk. I wanted to make this a regular thing, but I didn't know what to do for the very first one. I knew I wanted to make it a fandom thing, but I didn't know what to do. And so everybody's just like, why don't you just pick a fandom and talk about it? But see, here's the thing, is I can't make decisions, like, ever. So I did the next best thing, and I decided to write down 10 different fandoms, um, some top tier, some pillars, middle tier, bottom tier. If you don't know what I'm talking about, go check out my tier video and then come back and watch this. Um, I put the names of them in here. We're gonna shake them up and pick them out. And I'm incredibly nervous. Okay, I can't, I can't even remember what fandoms I put in here. Okay, Vampire Diaries. Vampire Diaries. Oh gosh, I haven't talked about Vampire Diaries in so long, guys. Vampire Diaries is in my middle tier. How did I find the show? Oh, okay, I uh, know, this is really funny. I found the show because my brother, my oldest brother, who is like 13 and a half years older than me, told me to watch it. <laughs> my, my oldest brother, told me to watch Vampire Diaries because him and his wife were watching it and they really, really liked it and they knew I'd really, really like it. And so one day I just started binging it somewhere in like 2014. And that's how I found it, how I started, why I started watching it. And it's really because my older brother told me to. And dudes, I am so glad I did. When I start to really, really like a show, one of the very first things I do is find out if there are character quizzes for that. And if there are, I take a character quiz for it because I want to see who I would be if I agree with that and see why throughout watching the show. Um, but here's, here's the funny thing about Vampire Diaries, okay? Before I found it, I was taking random character quizzes because I was super bored, had nothing to do, and I found Vampire Diaries, and literally the only thing that I knew about it was that Nina Dobrev was in it, and I knew Nina Dobrev, and <laughs> so I was like, you know what, I'll take this character quiz because it'll be totally unbiased because I won't know what answers are leaning towards what character, okay? So I did, and I got Elena. Weird, right? That's not the weird part. No, what's weird was that that quiz led me to which Vampire Diaries guy is your ideal boyfriend. If you've seen Vampire Diaries, you know where I'm going with this story, okay? So I took the what Vampire Diaries guys is your ideal boyfriend. I got Stefan, okay? I got Stefan and I felt like that made some sense because his face was one of the faces that I kept seeing on the promos right next to Nina's, so I mean, I had to be right, right? Like, she had to be with one of those two guys. That's literally all I knew, is that there was a whole bunch of vampires and that Nina Dobrev was in it and that there were these two guys always next to her and I didn't even know their names. <laughs> and um, then that quiz led to which Salvatore brother would you end up with quiz and I'm pretty sure you guys know where I'm going with this. I got Damon, <laughs> and I was so confused. I was so confused. I was like, okay, 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 no, okay. So I got this character and these two guys, and my ideal boyfriend is Stefan, yet I would end up with Damon. I don't understand it. And I'm not gonna say what happens in Vampire Diaries, just in case you haven't seen it yet, but if you have, you know why that's hilarious. And then when I finally became a fan of Vampire Diaries, I took the quiz again, it was a different quiz. And see, what I do when I take the quizzes is that I go back 
and take it again immediately after taking it. And if there were any questions where I had two answers that I was like really on the edge of clicking either one of them, I go back and I click the other one just to see if I get the same character. And usually I do. Usually I do because usually there's only like two, one or two questions where I'm just like, I literally could pick either one. So generally I get the same character. But first time I took the Vampire's Diaries quiz, I was literally a different person. Liter literally, literally a different person. Which I know is a ridiculous thing to say, but between the time of me taking those quizzes just for random fun and the time where I took them because I was an actual fan, I'm not going to tell you what because I don't want to get into it right now, but something happened to me personally that literally changed my identity and how I saw the world and how I coped with the world and how I felt about the world. So when I say I was literally a different person, I was literally a different person. I took another character quiz and I ended up being Bonnie. And then I took it again, I got Bonnie again. And then I took all these different quizzes because I knew I had gotten Elena at one point. And I took all these different quizzes, and every single time I took them, I got Bonnie. So if you ask me what Vampire Diary character I am, I'll tell you the funny story about how I got Elena and Stefan and Damon, but I'll tell you that I'm, I'm Bonnie. I am Bonnie Bennett. That's who I am. I honestly couldn't tell you even if I have a favorite character. I mean, naturally I gravitate towards Bonnie more because I just, I get her so much more. But I like them all, they all drive me insane. But they're all pretty good. I, 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 I don't have a favorite, I don't. I do have ships though. I, okay, don't wanna make anybody mad but I do ship Delena. Okay, I just do. I mean, it makes sense. Like, yeah, Stelena was amazing and perfect and beautiful, but I don't know, Delena just makes sense to me. More sense. It just seems a little bit more right. And, um, Bonenzo. I ship Bonenzo. Bonenzo. I love Bonnie and Enzo. I love how no matter what happens, there's always somebody trying to make it better. They, they never give up. And even when someone else gives up, somebody, there's somebody that's just like, no, we're not giving up. And I really, really needed that when I discovered Vampire Diaries. I do like supernatural stories, obviously, because my favorite show is literally supernatural, but I, connected with Vampire Diaries more than I thought I would. And it's because of the heartache that they go through. Um, I can't remember the quote exactly, but I'm pretty sure Stefan tells Elena pretty early on that she's not gonna be sad forever. And when I heard that, I literally started crying because I really, I needed to hear that, I genuinely did. And there were things that the characters said to each other that I just, I needed to hear for me. And I wouldn't really say the show changed me much because I was changing when I watched it, but I would say that it helped me with my change. It helped me look at what was going on in my life and not just focus on the negative. And that was something I was really struggling to do then because it just, there were so many good things happening and I appreciated every single one of them, but there was just this one dark cloud that kept hanging over everything and I couldn't get around it. And the show taught me to not try to get around it, but just to, accept what it was, to accept that it was going to be a part of my identity forever. 
and that it didn't have to make everything darker and that it was okay that it was okay and so this show really did help me so much and I am forever grateful for it I mean all of my shows that I was watching at that moment in time each of them said something at some point and I was just like this is just amazing I feel like it's something I really needed to hear right now but this show maybe it was because I binged it so hardcore to catch up because I really wanted to watch the current episodes but it really struck a nerve with me and I will never never forget it I recommend watching this show it's really good and it's important to me and I just I recommend it and uh, a tip for entering this fandom have tissues have a lot of time have emotional support and just be ready for your heart to break over and over and over again but it will be mended in the sweetest ways but have tissues and like water to rehydrate yourself you will cry i cried so much so many times and that is it for this video if there are any fandoms you would like to hear me talk about totally comment them below and i will see if i can talk about any of them soon in another one of these fandom tea time talks don't forget to visit my Instagram and my Twitter. Also, don't forget to subscribe because next video, I am doing a casual cosplay again of one of my favorite characters from one of my favorite shows that are on my top tier. And I think it's gonna be pretty, pretty fun. Not gonna spoil it for you, but it's gonna be pretty cool. So I hope to see you guys next week. Bye.